Google just shook the tech world at I.O. 2025, rolling out a torrent of AI updates. But the real showstopper? A robot. A live demo. A toy basketball hoop. And a simple voice command. Slam dunk. What happened next was something the robotics world won't stop talking about anytime soon. Welcome back, friends. Alfie here, bringing you another mind-blowing update. Google just dropped a bombshell at I.O. 2025 with their AI robot, powered by Google DeepMind's Gemini model. You're watching the AI Nexus, and as always, we're here to bring you every step of the future. Let's go. A Gemini-powered robot, facing an entirely unfamiliar object, a toy basketball hoop, took a moment, reasoned through what a slam dunk might mean, and executed the move perfectly. No task-specific training, no human puppeteering behind the curtain, just real-time, on-the-fly understanding and action. That was the moment when everything changed. Carolina Parada, head of robotics at Google DeepMind, summed it up best. She called it a wow moment. And she wasn't exaggerating. We've seen robots dance, climb stairs, and do backflips. But we haven't seen this. A robot using general-purpose intelligence to interpret human language and translate it into coordinated physical action with absolutely zero prep. This wasn't just about a party trick. It was about Gemini, the next-generation AI model that now sits at the heart of Google's vision for robotics. What makes Gemini different is its seamless fusion of language and vision. It doesn't just understand words. It sees, interprets, reasons, and acts. When the robot was told to slam dunk, it didn't panic. It didn't stand still. It analyzed its surroundings, identified the hoop, located the ball, and made a plan. Then it executed. That's not pre-programmed behavior. That's cognitive flexibility. And that's where DeepMind's new learning architecture comes into play. This isn't just another foundation model update. What they're building is an entirely new framework for robotic learning. One where models are not trained for weeks on a single task, but are instead exposed to diverse sensory input and learn through generalization. What that means in plain language. Robots that can walk into a new room, see a new object, hear a new command, and just figure it out. Think about that. We're moving into a world where task-specific training may soon be obsolete. Where a robot doesn't need a thousand examples of how to sweep a floor or pour a drink. Instead, it can watch a video, listen to a sentence, look around, and go. That's what made the Gemini demo so electrifying. Not just because of what it did, but what it represents. The dawn of the truly adaptive robot. And make no mistake, this wasn't a closed-door lab experiment. It was shown live, unscripted. The robot didn't know what was coming. It didn't rehearse the dunk. It simply understood it. That's a big leap, but the Gemini-powered robot was just one star in a galaxy of announcements. Google didn't hold back. The entire I.O. 2025 event was a flood of AI evolution. From Gemini 2.5 Turbo, now with even faster inference and lower latency, to major upgrades in AI-assisted code generation, healthcare diagnostics, and creative tools across the Google ecosystem. Every app you use, every service you touch, Google's baking Gemini into all of it. Gmail is getting context-aware smart replies that understand entire threads. Search is being reimagined to act more like a conversation than a list of links. Android's new Gemini Assistant can now take action across apps just by describing what you want in natural language. Want to book a flight, find nearby Airbnbs, and plan an itinerary? You just tell your phone, and it figures out the rest. But all of that, as impressive as it is, still orbits around the gravitational pull of robotics. Because that's where the magic happens. That's where AI leaves the screen and enters the world. And that's why Google's robotics division is stepping into the spotlight in 2025. We're seeing the convergence of AI models and mechanical bodies, brains and brawn finally sinking in real time. For years, we've had brilliant robot hardware waiting for intelligence to catch up. Now, it's happening. Gemini isn't just a chatbot. It's the mind inside the machine. 
It's the thing that makes robots not only responsive, but proactive. Not just precise, but perceptive. Carolina Parada explained how Gemini's multimodal capabilities, its ability to process both language and vision simultaneously, are the key to unlocking physical dexterity. When a human says, grab the red cup and put it on the table next to the blue book, Gemini doesn't need coordinates. It doesn't require tagging or bounding boxes. It just looks, understands, acts. That's human-level reasoning. And it's finally here. The implications of this go far beyond dunking basketballs. Imagine robots helping with elderly care, navigating unpredictable home environments, assisting in disaster zones, or performing surgical assistance. With Gemini's ability to generalize from limited input, the bottleneck of robotic deployment, the endless training, the brittle scripts, is rapidly fading away. And the pace is astonishing. Just last year, robots needed heavy teleoperation and reinforcement learning cycles that could take months. Now we're seeing zero-shot execution of novel tasks in real time using off-the-shelf video and simple commands. It's not just about better AI. It's about how fast we're collapsing the gap between data and action. Of course, with all of this power comes responsibility. Google made it clear that safety is still front and center. Every Gemini integrated robot undergoes rigorous testing. Fail-safes are built in. Human override is always possible. And the learning architecture is designed to avoid hallucinations and unsafe actions. But even as Google talks about responsibility, it's clear they're accelerating. They know that being first in general purpose robotics means setting the standard and dominating the market. This puts Google in direct competition with others in the space. Tesla's Optimus project is pushing hard on autonomous learning from video. Figure AI is proving industrial deployment with robots on the BMW line. One X and Aptronic are scaling their own platforms. But none of them have the data ecosystem that Google has. None of them have a search engine, YouTube, Android, Maps, and Gmail feeding real-world information directly into their models. That's the ace up Google's sleeve. Data. Real-world context. Billions of human interactions happening every day across its products. And now, all of that is fuel for Gemini. At I.O. 2025, Google didn't just show off a robot dunking a ball. They showed the future of human-machine interaction. A future where robots don't need instruction manuals. They just need to observe, to listen, to learn. And for developers, the doors are now wide open. Google announced a new set of APIs and tools that allow third-party developers to build their own Gemini-powered robotic applications. That means everything from home assistants to warehouse bots to medical devices can be built with the same core intelligence engine that powered that iconic slam dunk. If this feels fast, that's because it is. We're in the acceleration phase now. What used to take decades is now happening in quarters. The Gemini robot demo will be remembered as a milestone not just for Google, but for the entire field of robotics. The floodgates are open. AI is no longer just about answering questions. It's about taking action. Real world, physical, tangible action. And Google, with Gemini at the helm, is stepping into that future with both feet planted firmly on the ground, and apparently, one hand on the rim. What we witnessed at IO 2025 wasn't just an update, it was a paradigm shift. The line between software and hardware is disappearing. And if Gemini continues evolving at this rate, the next time you ask a robot to do something, it might not just understand you. It might surprise you with how well it does it. So what's next? More autonomy, more integration, more moments that make us say, wait, did that robot just? Because yes, it did. And it's only getting started.